Hey guys, so today we're going to do our December Art Snacks versus Sketchbox Basic Overview. We're gonna talk turkey, we're gonna talk prices, we're gonna do some demonstration, and uh, hopefully we'll have a good time. So we're gonna start with the Art Snacks. And let me get everything together. So the brands inside are the Karen Dosh Discovery Set, which is a five piece watercolor pencil set with one blender. We also have a Higgins Black Magic Pump Action Marker Pen, a Coom Long Point. This has a single hole, it's made of magnesium and a Stabilo 0.88, which is a 0.4 point. So we're gonna go through the card now. So for the Stabilo, I mean, yeah, the Karen Dosh Discovery Set, it is limited edition, and this usually comes not like this at all. It comes um, in a little pack, but it also comes with a coloring book for around $30 on Amazon. Uh, they quote the price as being $17.08, and for the set itself, when I tallied up the open stock price of the five pencils at $2.56 each plus uh, $4.99 for the blender, I came at $17.79 for this set. So my retail value is actually a little bit higher than what they claimed. So that's, that's great for them. The long point magnesium sharpener they say is $1.95 retail. And I found it on pencils.com for $1.95. This one is actually unusual. It's kind of hard to find. Usually when you search for the long point, you're gonna get the Palomino. And they included the Palomino way, like I got a red Palomino way earlier this year. And it's actually my favorite pencil sharpener right now. Um, I use it when I do my warm up sketches every day. So I really love this brand of sharpener. I know it's a little bit ridiculous to be like, oh, this one brand of sharpener, but seriously, this is a great sharpener. And if you guys like Prismacolor pencils, you know those are prone to breaking. These will not chew those up. Next up is the Higgins Black Magic Ink Pump Marker. They quote $5.95 retail. You can get it at Dick Blick for $4.75. And lastly, we have the Stabilo 0.88. Let's see if I can. And they say 95 cents for that. And you can get it for 85 cents on Dick Blick, 95 cents at Art Supplies Online, or a dollar each at Jet Pins. And um, you can find links to all of these things and lots more on the upcoming ensuing blog post. So next we need to take a look at our Sketchbox Basic. And I already read the cards and everything for both boxes on my unboxing video, so make sure you guys check that out. So we're gonna begin with the Kurataki Zig Clean Color Real Brush Set, and I reviewed this over on the blog a while back. It is, it is a staff favorite, and the retail price is $13.95. And I found it for as low as $10.48 at markersupply.com. And that's a Nashville company. They are not a sponsor. They're not affiliated in any way. I'm just trying to show some local love. I highly recommend you check their site out. When I was reviewing alcohol markers and water-based markers, I get a lot of my markers from Marker Supply. You can also get this set for $12.35 uh, on Dick Blick or $13.89 with Prime shipping. So free shipping if you're a Prime member on Amazon. Next is the Higgins India ink. So we have two Higgins products this month. Fortunately, they are a little bit different, although not really a lot different. And the Higgins is $5.95 again, but you can get it for $4.95, I'm sorry, $4.75 on Dick Blick. Next is the Kurataki Zig Brush number 55. It has a hard tip and a soft tip, so it's a double-sided brush pin. Um, and you can get it for, they say the retail price is $4.50. You can get it at Jet Pins for $4.20 or on Amazon for $3.53 with free shipping. Lastly is the Pentel Food A Touch Pin. And I reviewed all 12 of the colors these are available in, again, on the blog. 
and they claim it is $2.99 for the retail price. And uh, I found it for $2.50 each at JetPins or $4.24 on Amazon. So our Art Snacks MSRP total is $25.93. The lowest retail price is $25.34. And Art Snacks is $20 a month. That includes shipping. For Sketchbox, our MSRP total was $27.39. Our lowest retail total was $21.26. And Sketchbox Basic is $25 plus $5 ship. So let's go ahead and start playing around with these supplies. And I'm gonna grab some inexpensive watercolor paper since we have lots of watercolor -y supplies with us today. So we're going to start by grabbing a water brush. Here it is, and this came in a much earlier sketch box and a spritzer bottle. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get started with the Karen Dosh Discovery Set. Now, I have used some super color pencils in the past, not too, too many, and these are all new to me. I have never used one with the full blender, and this came unsharpened, so it's a perfect opportunity to also test out our Coom Long Point. So we get five different colors. They're all very bright primary. It's almost like a circus. Now I'll go ahead and adjust the camera. So I'm going to grab a trash container and we're going to go ahead and test out this long point. So when they say the full blender, it means this entire pencil is made of the blender. It feels like wax. So I think the, water, the blender is not going to be a water soluble blender. It is an interesting choice to include a blender with watercolor pencils. I've actually never combined the two. So that should be a fun experiment, especially because in watercolor basics, I am writing about watercolor pencils right now. So we get a nice clean point. No breakage. The sharpener is very sharp. If I kept sharpening, I could get that long point because it is an extra long sharpener and it has this area here to allow for that extra long point, but I actually find those are more prone to breaking, so I'm not a huge fan of them myself. So we're gonna start swatching these. We're gonna start here with cobalt blue. I'm gonna do two swatches. I'm going to do a swatch that I blend with the blender and a swatch that I blend with water. And finally, Scarlet. So let's go ahead and use the full blender. In fact, I will zoom in so you guys can really see what's going on. I was bearing down a bit too hard with it, to be honest. So it blends out pretty much like any blender. It's got, um, I think it's a wax base and it's basically colorless wax that is extending the pigment that's on the paper and um, sort of blending it down or mashing it down depending on how hard you're pressing. I'm pressing pretty hard. So 
So let's try a rainbow. And of course I'm off camera. And for best results from blending a rainbow, you want to start into the previous color and move forward. And I should have actually started in the opposite direction. So I should have done blue, then green, yellow, etc. Ooh. And they seem to blend well enough into them. Uh, each color seems to blend well enough into the next color without the use of additional blender. So I'm going to do another rainbow that we can uh, blend out with watercolor instead. I remember way back in January, Sketchbox, not Art Snacks, Sketchbox sent Artist Loft color pencil, uh, watercolor pencils, and I just about had a fit. It really, really <laughs> made me angry. Um, and y'all are going to be like, oh, that's such a stupid thing to say. But it's like they're, they were selling these boxes towards artists, and yet they acted like we wouldn't know the difference. I'm so pleased, honestly, that Art Snacks sent these beautiful Super Color 2 artist quality watercolor pencils. It's so refreshing to have um, artist grade supplies in my art subscription box. Okay, so we're going to use the full bright blender on the first rainbow here. And while there is some blending, I feel like it isn't any more noticeable than if you layered your color pencil particularly thickly or if you um, just blended between the colors manually. I'll leave that there. Okay, so we're gonna pull out a little bit so you guys can see. And I'm gonna use the Sketchbox water marker, water brush. Oh, that's nice. So already lots of color. Now I'm gonna have to wipe this off. Good thing I'm wearing jeans, I'll just use those. See, these are clearly meant to be blended with water instead of with a blender because they just pick up so readily. I'm really excited about these because um, usually what I recommend is um, Intense pencils, which are technically wa not watercolor, as you guys very often like to point out, they are actually um, ink. So it's nice to have some actual watercolor pencils to be able to strongly recommend. And there's our rainbow, and I'm not even cleaning my brush. So you're getting a lot of that blue and the blue green, but it seems to blend very readily with water and I'll pull out so you guys can see the hole. So I'm very happy with those Supra Supra 2 watercolor pencils from Karen Dosh. They seem very nice, high quality pencils that I am excited about getting to add to my collection because I don't think I have any of those colors either. I usually go first for earth tone since uh, that's what a lot of seven inch Kara features. So it's it's cool to have some brighter colors. So next we are going to play around with this Higgins Black Magic. Now I don't really care for Higgins. Um, I think Black Magic gives me a migraine because <laughs> it's very strong smelling. Uh, the instructions say shake well before activating pump to prime. So it's got, eight, ooh, sorry about that. Uh, I slinging art supplies everywhere. It's got a self posting cap. So your cap doesn't have to get lost, but it is very prone to rolling because there isn't any, so aren't any sort of marks on it. And we have not yet activated it. So it says to just prime against a hard surface. I usually use the top of the cap. 
and that was pretty quick to prime. A uh, very strong smelling in my opinion. So for the first, we're going to add water immediately. For the second, we're going to add water in one hour. And for the third, we're going to wait till tomorrow and I'll check back with you guys on the Higgins Black Magic. So I need to clean my pen, grab a quick photo for those who enjoy following along on the blog. And we're going to remove this sheet and move on to Sketchbox. So let me just pop everything over to the side. Now, in Sketchbox, we received, you know, they're both water-based media boxes this month, the Zig Clean Color Real Brushes. And I've reviewed these on the blog. So if you're interested in a full review, you guys can go check that out. And I need to double check to make sure these aren't colors I already own. If they are, I'm gonna pop them in the mail. And it looks like the set they sent me is the light colors set. And that includes light carmine, light blue, light violet, and bright yellow. So we're going to And with these, if you want to blend them with water, you need to do so pretty much immediately because the longer they sit on the paper, the less they're gonna wanna move. So that was light carmine. Next is light violet. I also find they're a little bit drier and it could be because they have nylon bristles instead of a foam or a felt brush. They don't put down quite as much ink as some brands. Which might make them ideal um, for your use. And I actually haven't played around with blending them into each other too much. I usually blend them with water using my Ink Essentials craft mat or a piece of scrap plastic. But you know what? Let's try blending them into each other. So we'll start with the yellow. They seem to blend into each other very readily. Now I am working wet into wet, but like I said, I seem to take to blending very quickly. So yeah, especially on a watercolor paper, like this fluid watercolor paper, you can see that they blend into each other without any real, you don't really need to encourage them. Um, they're very quick. And I already got my idea for the challenge because these are the sort of colors that I really like. I have a real soft spot for um, very light pastel pop colors. All right, so I needed to jot down the thumbnail for that really quick. Sometimes it comes to me in a flash. Sometimes I really have to fight to get inspiration. So it's always really nice when the colors in the box really suggest something that I would care to work on. So next up is, let's see, this is a gray, let's just go ahead, remove the sticker, a gray Pentel Touch. Now last month Art Snack sent me a purple Pentel Touch and as I said earlier, I reviewed these on the blog a long time ago. So they are water soluble as any constant reader knows. And they've got a very, very fine Fude pen, capable of very fine lines. Let me zoom in. Focus. Maybe not. 
There we go. Capable of very fine lines, but also some decently thick lines in comparison. Now, um, you can beat the nib up so much that it's not going to work properly. Water soluble. And um, let me grab a marker, an alcohol marker. It's a Blip Studio brush. And looks like it would be alcohol marker proof because it is water based. All right, so next up is the Kuratake number 55. It is a double-sided brush pen, and I have reviewed the Kuratake number six and the number 33. The number 33 is very similar to the number 55 in that it has a gray small tip and a large black tip. But this might be just what you need. Ooh, that looks like a, well, we'll find out. Because you do get two tips, and one of them is the soft tip, and one is the hard, and they, uh, I know for a fact the larger side features a foam rubber nib, much like the Zig Art and Graphic Twin. And I don't, you know, I haven't used the small one yet, so let's find out. Oh, it's very stiff. It's fiber. For the soft tip alone, it's a lot of fun to use, but I have a feeling it is water soluble. So let's get out the old spritz pen. Oh yeah, very water soluble. And what's interesting is it looks like the ink on the other side has more blue to it. That can't be, they surely share, surely they share a reservoir. But look, one of them has a more blue cast and the other one has a more warm gray cast. So that's interesting. Maybe they don't share an ink reservoir. All right, so that leaves us with the Higgins India ink of our two Higgins products. As you can see, very similar to that bla old black magic that came in the art snacks. So we're gonna prime it, same way. Oh yeah, we gotta shake it. You gotta shake it really good. You know what else uses India ink? Pit pins. All right, so y'all know the drill immediately. Oh, very, 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 very runny. One hour, 24 hours. So I'll see you guys in about an hour. All right, guys, so it's been an hour. So we're going to test our Higgins Black Magic and our Higgins India ink. Let's go ahead and get started with the Black Magic because it was sitting while. All right, so with some scrubbing, let me pull way in. With some scrubbing, it is dislodging a little bit of the pigment. The more you scrub, the, the more gray comes up. So after one hour, Higgins Black Magic in the pump pen is not entirely waterproof. Let's move on now to the India ink, which also with some scrubbing turns gray. Now the India ink is water resistant, not waterproof. So we're going to check back on this tomorrow for the last word, magic and ink. And so I'll see you guys then. All right, guys, it's been 24 hours. Time to do our final Higgins water fastness test. Right now we're looking at the Higgins India ink, which came in our sketch box. And as you can see, 
it activates pretty much immediately. Let me zoom in for you guys. So this is water resistant, not waterproof. And even after a 24 hour dry time, it's not going to be waterproof. Next, we're going to look at the black magic ink, which is supposed to be waterproof. And here we are at the 24 hour mark. Let me make sure my brush pin is clean. And although it doesn't activate as much as the India ink, it is still not entirely waterproof. Now, really quickly, well, I thought I need to do a demonstration for you guys with that fine liner that came in the art snacks. Aha, here it is. All right, so this is a water-based fine liner. It is never going to be waterproof and some artists even use it as a portable, oh, I still have the gross, uh, the black ink in there, but some artists use it as an on the go uh, watercolor thing, especially for the 66s. Now, because it is water-based, it should be alcohol marker proof. So I grabbed a Blick Studio brush marker, which is an alcohol-based marker, and we're just gonna run it right over and uh, this is an immediate application. All right, so we do have some smearing. Let's give it an hour and come back and test it. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay guys, so it's been an hour. Now we can double check that alcohol fastness. Let's zoom way in so you guys can see what I'm doing. And it looks like it's less prone to smearing, but will still smear. So the Stabilo 0.88, if you're going to use this, you should use it after you apply whatever wet media you're using, be it water or alcohol. So that was my overview for this month's, this being December, this month's art snacks and Sketchbox. I wanna thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this video. The overview videos are kind of my favorite part. So it always means a lot to me when you guys do actually come and hang out and listen to me talk and listen to me talk about money and demonstrate art supplies. Um, that is, you know, the shining highlight of the month. Well, for the unboxing, et cetera thing, for the art subscription boxes, the overviews, really my favorite part of it. I hope you guys will continue watching so I can do the challenges for Sketchbox and for Art Snacks for December. Uh, just remember that these unboxing videos don't just end at the unboxing. There's usually two, sometimes three more videos following. And uh, those videos have loads of great content. So if you are new to my channel or if you've only watched my unboxing videos, I highly recommend you go and check out the Art Snacks versus Sketchbox playlist and uh, check out the overviews and the challenge videos, especially if you enjoy the other content I produce on this channel. That's where everything really starts to come together. So um, I, again, thank you guys so much for watching. If you want more art supply goodness, more reviews, more tutorials, more tricks, more tips, head on over to the blog at natosoup.blogspot.com for seven years worth of this goodness, including box recaps from January until November for every box that I've done. So if you feel like you've missed something, if you'd like some more information, if you'd like further detail, or if you'd like to read loads of research, head on over there and get your art nerd going. If you would like to help support content like this, don't forget to leave a like, leave a comment, let me know how I'm doing. Um, if you have any questions, never hesitate to ask. I'll try to get to it as soon as possible. And head on over to the Patreon at patreon.com slash natosoup to join the community and help fund future content. I hope I will see you guys really soon for the challenge videos for both of these boxes. I'm Becca Hilburn. I'll see y'all later. Bye, guys.